Hey guys, here with another Magic Origins draft. Uh, this is the weekly draft video for this week. I post one every week, as the term weekly draft video probably indicates to you. And this week we're doing some Magic Origins, and for most of the coming weeks as well. Um, probably all of the coming weeks. There may be some bonus drafts in there too, but uh, there'll always be a Magic Origins draft every Monday. So if you want to see more drafts, this is the place to be. Um, I will pause until the first pack opens. All right, about to see our first pack. Let's hope we open something sweet. Pyromancer's Goggles, something that's really cool, although not especially sweet. Um, I'm curious how much it's worth. I'm going to look at that real quick. I don't think it's worth much. Um, it is something I'd like to have in my collection, but I'm not. there's good cards in this pack, of course, because it's the first pack and I don't want to give them up. Uh, they're only worth a ticket anyway. Um, so the best cards in this pack are probably Patron of the Valiant uh, and Unholy Hunger and Wild Instincts. Those are probably the three best cards here. Um, you know, other playables in the pack are like Gold Forge Sentinel, Fetid Imp, Deep Sea Terror sometimes, Amprin Tactician, Timberback Wolf. I think we just take the Patron here. Um, the Patron of the Valiant is enough better than a lot of other creatures that I'm willing to take it over a 5-mana removal spell. I probably wouldn't take it over the lower, more efficient removal, um, but I will take it over an Unholy Hunger. Um, I haven't played with one yet either, actually, a Patron of the Valiant. Um, okay, so a thoroughly unexciting pack, except for this Wild Instincts. Um, yeah, I mean, this pack's actually really weak. Uh, Wild Instincts is definitely the best card in the pack. Uh, Reclusive Artificer's good if you can get the, you know, the setup for it. You know, run a lot of artifacts and be in blue-red, but you don't want to force yourself into that too early. I Blight Assassin's fine. Grasp of the Hero Mancer's fine. And Guardian Automaton are fine, but the rest of the cards in this pack aren't super exciting. Some of them are pretty unplayable, even. Um, like Aven Battle Priest. Chandra's Fury is an okay sideboard card, but yeah. We're going to go with the removal here and get wild instincts so the patron of the valiant is at its best in a deck with lots of renown um, and it's good anyway as a five mana four four flyer um, and we're in the archetype with the most renowned creatures right now if, if this holds up anyway so we'll see okay well, there's enough cards in here that are enough better than Knight of the Pilgrim's Road that I don't think I want to put myself uh, in this, you know, green-white right away. A Knight of the Pilgrim's Road and Charging Griffin are both fine, but I think Anger to the Aether and Claustrophobia and Blightcaster in the right deck are both better. Um, I think I'm going to take the Claustrophobia here. Uh, yeah, that's what we're going to take. Early on in this, these drafts, I think it's just best to take uh, the best cards in each, you know, no matter what color they are, and eventually the, the signals will show you which color you should probably be in, and that's been working for me. So, okay. Now there's a Ring Warden Owl, who is probably the best card in this pack, followed by Fiery Conclusion. Um, I think I'm going to take the Owl. I mean, these two are pretty close, um, and the Owl is enough better uh, I, I mean i'm already in claustrophobia i have a claustrophobia so uh it, it's enough to be a tiebreaker even though i just want to take the best cards and i think i'll take the owl we could end up in the blue white skies deck and this wild instincts is just sort of an anomaly that we picked up early um i do like the blue white skies deck i have finally drafted it now i didn't record it but i finally had a blue white deck with two thunderclap wyverns and i was really happy about that um be nice to record one too oh Hold on just a second. Okay, I uh, didn't want my computer to die on me in the middle of a draft. But here we're taking Stalwart Aven. Um, Possessed Scob is also very good. Uh, you probably saw me make good use of it in last week's draft video. But I think here we want the Aven. Um, it's just, it's not the best card in the pack, but it's the best monocolored card in the pack. So I'm happy with that. Um, and here I think we'll take Disperse. Green's not looking super open. We're not seeing really playable green cards late. But there is a playable white card here. Um, and a playable blue card. So we're going to take Disperse. It's fine. OK. 
Okay, thoroughly unexciting pack. This reclusive artificer did make it back. Um, I think I just take Guardian Automaton here. Not the most exciting card, but I think it's better than... Uh, I mean, Mighty Leap's fine, but I think I'd rather have the Automaton. Um, okay. Well, I think here I'm going to take Fairy Miscreant. Um, I'm only going to main board it if I get at least three or something like that. Um, but it would be good, especially if we get some Thunderclap Wyverns going in here. Um, I think we take the Tactician. He's pretty good. Um, yeah, we'll take a Hydro Lash. We might play it. We probably won't, but I'll leave it in the main board for now. All right, yeah, blue is definitely open. This guy shouldn't still be around, and he is. So that's a good sign. And Maritime Guard's also fine. Um, you know, if we have to play it, we will. I've played it a few times. It's a decent two-drop that can block a lot of the Renown guys. So I think it looks like blue and white are both relatively open. Uh, we got a pretty late Stalwart Aven, a pretty late Amprin Tactician. Blue's clearly way more open um, than white is, based on the, the late Aspiring Aeronaut we got. Uh, so that's probably where we're going to end up. Um, we'll have to see. Like, if we open a Thunderclap Wyvern, I'll probably kind of force it, just because I love that deck so much. <laughs> more out of fun than... You know, having a good chance of winning. Um, this is a pretty good sideboard card against us, I guess, already. So I guess I'll take it, and I'll take another one. People aren't usually going to side it in against us anyway, since they know blue has disperse and effects like that. Um, we would like to pick up some of the, like, quality white removal. Uh, we have some good blue removal so far. Well, that's interesting. Gaia's Revenge, another patron of the Valiant. Yeah, I mean, Gaia's Revenge is good, but, you know, we're not going to force ourselves into that. Uh, you know, it's it's not good enough. Seven drops are really hard to get uh, in play in this format. You can do it. You can run one seven drop and probably be okay, but I think we just want another Patron of the Valiant. Uh, maybe we wheel this Ring Ward now. I would like some more low drops, too, so I'd like this Water Courser to come back, but Patron of the Valiant is too good to pass. And we do already have uh, one guy with Renown that he's even better with, so... Another Possessed Scob, too, so someone's going to be happy if they get both of those, but yeah, we take the Patron. Okay, well, the Ravaging Blaze and Fiery Impulse are here. Um, I love both of those cards, but I think we just take another Claustrophobia. Um, Night, Night of the Pilgrim's Road is fine, but um, I'd rather take the removal over it, and Ravaging Blaze and Fiery Impulse are better than Claustrophobia, I think, but... I think we're too deep into one color. I mean, this isn't a sign that red's open at all. It's the second pick in this pack, so we'll just pick up another Claustrophobia. Okay, well, now there's a Reeve Soul, which is pretty great. Um, there's also an Aspiring Aeronaut. Um, hmm. I think we just pick up the Aeronaut, uh, keep going with our Blue-White Skies plan. That's going pretty well so far. Um... The Reef Soul is very good, but I think just staying where we are is a good idea at this point. Um, okay. This pack does not offer us a whole lot. I think I'm just going to take Evolving Wilds. Grasp of the Hero Mancer is fine, but it's not incredible. Getting Evolving Wilds can set us up for a splash. Like, if that Scob comes back around, I'd probably try to splash it. Um, and I like it more than Meteorite, because Evolving Wilds will get put in our deck probably no matter what. So, the Meteorite, not, not so much... Um, all right. Um, I think I'll take a Stratus Walk here. Uh, Despoiler of Souls is pretty cool. Revenant, we could try to splash for, but I don't think that's a great splash. Um, I think I'll just take a Stratus Walk. Um, right now we don't have any great targets for it, but we'll probably get some, and if we don't, we just won't play it. So, I mean, Deep Sea Terror would actually be a good target for it. Another Disperse, a Helm of the Gods. Here I think I just take Disperse. White is looking... Pretty slim so far. That's definitely the case, and so are a lot of other things. Um, I'm going to take a Deep Sea Terror. You know, this pack doesn't have anything good in it at all. <laughs> Might of the Masses is probably, or Nantuko Husk are probably the best cards, and that's kind of sad, but we'll take the Terror. Another Aeronaut. So we can go all crazy with the artifacts. Um... I think I'd rather have another Aeronaut than another Automaton. The two bodies are just really good. We do really need a Thunderclap Wyvern to like pull our deck together at this point. 
All right, the scob came back, but so did a ring warden owl and a water courser. Um, and I think we really need some more low drops. That's super important in this format. So I think I'm actually going to take the water courser instead of trying to shove him into my deck. Um, Aven Battle Priest, huh? Yeah, I think I'd rather just take Guardians of Melitus and have it as a potential sideboard card. Um, I'll take a Malakir Coldblade, because why not? Uh, do we want Bone to Ash? I don't think so, but I'm going to take it anyway. All right, Revenant. We could maybe splash him, depending on how our deck ends up. Um, I don't think we're going to be mainboarding Hydro Lash or Healing Hands. So, let's see what happens. We don't want a Forest. Okay, hanger back walker. Well, <laughs> I've been drafting that guy a lot. I've had good luck with that. Um, and I think I'll take another one. Uh, yeah, I'll take one here. Um, the other good cards in this pack are Lightning Javelin. Citadel Castellan's really good too, but hanger back walker's better than all of them, so it doesn't really matter a whole lot. Uh, so that's what we'll take here. Yeah, we'll take the hanger back walker. Good in any deck. Uh, so another spoiler of soul. Separatist void mage is really good. Um, and that's probably what we take here. We do need some more low drops. So that this chief is, is exciting for us, but the I mean cleric, but we'll take a screeching scob. It'll probably come back to us. So we'll take the void mage. Ooh, I'll hamar it. That's interesting. But I don't think I want to try to shove that into my deck. Um, I think that... Yeah, I don't know. I've never played Alhamarit. I know he can be really good. Um, but I think I'd rather just have another Void Mage to sort of set up our, you know, bounce guys, get our tempo going. And the Void Mage is really good. A 7 drop's kind of crazy. I don't even really like having 6 drops in this format. Um... Hopefully we don't have to run this deep sea dude. Uh, Celestial Flare, Knight of the Pilgrim's Road. I think I like Knight of the Pilgrim's Road better right here. We're going to be a base blue deck, so getting the double white is going to be a little hard, and we definitely need some more three drops. Um, okay, another Void Mage. Blue, blue is very open from this side. It has been all day. The question is if I want a third Void Mage or a really good combat trick and Enshrouding Mist. Um, and I think... I think I like the Void Mage more. I think having three of them is pretty big. I think I'll take the Void Mage. Um, okay, Suppression Bonds, huh? I was going to take a Scob here, but Suppression Bonds is really good, uh, and we definitely want it. Uh, Scrap Skin Drake or Maritime Guard. I think I take the Drake. Even though I can't block, it's still a three drop. Um, don't really like Flame Shadow Conjuring, just as a side note. Although, if we were going to take it, a deck where we have... Three Separatist Void Mages and three Aspiring Aeronauts is probably the deck for it, because you get to keep your tokens and you get to bounce stuff uh, when you copy them, and that's pretty nice. Um, not to mention Patron of the Valiant, whose ability could be relevant when you double it too, but I think we just take a Drake. Um, we'll take a Negate for our sideboard. Take an Oromancer. We do have a Suppression. We have two Claustrophobias and a Suppression Bonds. Um, against an opponent with, like, Nantuko Husks, that's not bad. Okay, we did get a 2-drop to come back to us, and that's good news. And Artificer's Epiphany. We have two artifacts, but... No Thunderclap Wyverns for us, which is a little sad. I think I'll take a Ring Ward now. I think 4 or 5 drops is fine. Um, Bone to Ash for the sideboard. Calculated Dismissal, also for the sideboard, although I'm not a huge fan of that card. I've seen some people play it. I think you have to have a really controlling deck to make it work, and we actually have a pretty aggressive deck where we just try to win in the air. Uh, 
Although the absence of thunderclap wyverns is pretty sad. But that's okay. We do have a hanger back walker. It's pretty sweet. I've drafted it three times already, and I've probably, as of this recording, uh, which is somewhat in advance of when it's actually posted, probably only drafted like 10 times. So I've gotten him in three out of 10 drafts, which is pretty crazy. Um, anyway, we'll sort by converted mana cost here. Um, put this up there. I think we run the wilds. We do have need of double, and it can help us get there. Um, we did only end up with two two-drop creatures, um, and we only ended up with four three-drop creatures, which is a little scary in this format. Um, maybe I should actually run calculated dismissal, what I, despite what I was just saying, because it gives us a way to slow our opponents uh, three drops down. Could be good here. Don't want Fairy Miscreant, we only got the one, so. I don't know that we really want Stratus Walk, like our good target, we don't really have good targets for it. Um, other than Hangerback Walker, I guess, would be kind of funny with Stratus Walk, but we don't want Stratus Walk. We didn't end up, Knight of the Pilgrim's Road would be okay too, but not amazing. Um, yeah, Emperor Tactician with all of these uh, Thopter Flyer tokens is going to be pretty nice. Um... I think we need to cut our automaton probably our worst card in our deck definitely want suppression bonds yeah we really just ended up sort of splashing white um although we have lots of doubles so we have to run it a little differently than otherwise um and let's see i'm trying it's hard for me to decide what i want to cut here Let's group creatures separately. That sometimes helps. I don't know. I don't know if I like Calculated Dismissal. We do have a, sh a slow early game plan. We have early Disperses to slow our opponent down and separate his Void Mage to get us back ahead on board. And I think that's fine. I think we lose Calculated Dismissal. Um, and this is a fine deck for 17 lands. We have a pretty decent curve. Although we have lots of 4s, but... Um, which is a thing that happens in this format. Um, yeah, I think I'll just go with 17. Oh, we want our Evolving Wilds in here, though, for sure. And I think we go more like 7, 9, just to make sure we can play, you know, our Patron of the Valiant, who's also good with Hanger Backwalker, incidentally. Um, actually, 6... No, 7-9 is better. The Evolving Wilds makes it so it's 8-10. I think that's fine. Um, all right, so this is our deck, a blue-white skies deck without any Thunderclap Wyverns, unfortunately. That either means none were opened or someone else is in this deck, although we got a lot of goodies if someone else is in that deck. To, it seems like we got more than we should have. Um, yeah, so this is the deck we're going to go with, so we'll see how it goes in the actual games. Thanks for watching. Um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.